Okay guys, we're going to continue uh, learning some of the Java fundamentals today. Um, we're going to go ahead and learn some of the basics of variables. Um, so we're going to write a small simple application or small program that uses some of the basic variables. We are still going to be using Notepad++. And we're going to be doing um, again a small program with some simple variables um, right away I'm gonna do a file save as I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this challenge one dot Java put it in quotes so you do not append the dot text now if I minimize it, there I see my .java file. Go ahead and create a public class. You guys know I have to call my class challenge1 because that's the name of the file that we saved. And inside of my class, we need an entry point for the JVM. which is the main method. And this is where the program will start. Again, we're learning some basics of variables. Um, so I'm going to write a program that declares a variable for your name, a variable for your age, and a variable for your annual pay and then outputs that program or outputs those variables to the console or the command line. So the name variable, I'm going to, we need to store that in a string data type. We're going to call our string name, and I'm going to give it my name. Again, strings hold um, many characters, letters, numbers, special characters, anything that you can type at the keyboard will be stored in a string. We have another variable for age. Because age is a whole number, we're not going to be storing I'm 28 and a half years old. I'm just going to store a whole number. I'm going to store that in an integer. Integer age equals number 28. And the third variable is my annual pay. will be stored in a double variable called annual pay. equal to and because it's a double holds a decimal point number and I'll say 10,000 just to show that it is a decimal number I'll put a point five zero yeah Ricky It's not better practice to use E notation. You learned about E notation for those long numbers because sometimes the output will be in E notation. But when we're typing at the keyboard, we do not have to use E notation. Okay? Then to output these variables, um, you learn the system.out.println method. I will go ahead and say my name plus. Well, actually, I'll come back here and I'll say my name is plus name plus my age is plus age plus my annual pay is plus annual pay. 
So take a look at Notepad++. It puts our strings, it makes them gray, makes our variables um, black when we're outputting them to the monitor. So if I save it, which I already have with my control S, I will now compile it at the command prompt. Matter of fact, let me make this larger for you, so you guys can see it. And if I change onto my desktop, I'm going to compile it, Java C challenge. No error messages. Now if I run it with Java challenge one, you see the output. My name is Evan Gudmestead, my age is 28, my annual pay is 10,000.5. Yep. So how do I fix that? There's no space between is and 28. Put the space between the quote and the word is, save it. Now watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to run it. You see the error still there? Why is the error still there? You have to recompile it. So I'm going to recompile Java C challenge one dot Java. Now if I run it with Java challenge, you see the correct output.